In this video, I'm about to show y'all boys this 99 overall glitch that you can use to get your player maxed out extremely fast. This also works for your badge progression and it also works for your core challenges as well. I'm gonna show y'all boys exactly how to do it. Shout out to the homie Dan Dan. I'm currently using his video footage. In this video, his link will be in the description down below. To do this glitch, it is there's a few different steps that you need to take. It can be time consuming, but if I was on PlayStation, I would to totally take advantage of this glitch. So what you guys wanna do, play normal my career, play on 12 minutes to get the most out of this glitch. Once you guys get under a minute left in the game or so, you wanna make sure that you go ahead and save and quit out of the my career game. And then once you guys do that, all you guys wanna do, do is go ahead reload the my career game back up and you want to go ahead and let the game finish out you're going to need a couple of things for this glitch one you are going to need a usb and then two to get the most out of this glitch i would recommend that you guys have a solid state drive that you can use to put all of your games on because whenever you do this glitch you do have to restore your playstation this is way easier to do on current gen which i will explain because you don't have to restore your console but if you're on next gen you do which is an additional step so you don't have to you don't want to have to worry about reloading your games each time that you do this glitch if you have a solid state drive that you put your downloaded games on. So yeah, man. After you guys have went ahead and save and quit, go ahead and reload the same marker game back up. And then you wanna go ahead and finish the game out. And of course, you will get your batch regression and all that per usual. But to actually do this glitch, what you guys wanna do is whenever you load, um, whenever you save and quit, you wanna go into the settings on your console on your playstation you want to make sure that you have your usb plugged up you want to go ahead and close out nba 2k 23 and then you want to go over to your settings you want to go down to system and then you want to go to systems uh software and then you want to hit backup and restore this is how we actually do this glitch. You wanna hit up, you wanna hit back up your PlayStation 5, and then you only wanna select your save data, and all this will go over to your USB drive. And also, like I said, if you have a solid state drive, you can put all that, put all your games and stuff on your solid state drive, so you don't have to worry about re-downloading games and stuff like that. But after you guys do that, you wanna go ahead and hit next, and then you want to go ahead and hit backup which will transfer this data over to your usb drive after you guys have transferred this over to your usb drive you want to then plug your usb drive up to your pc create a new folder drag over this file to your new folder on your p on your pc make sure you date it and put the correct time because with this glitch you're able to get the same batch progression every 24 hours you guys can do this with five my career games 10 my career games you're able to get the same batch progression for each my career game that you play every 24 hours which is super far but there's a few different steps that you need to take so yeah man after you got like i said after you guys have um went ahead and put that that, that data on your usb drive plug your usb up to your pc make a new folder and then put the date and tom and then you want to reload the same file back to your console every single 24 hours so once you guys have waited 24 hours and you're ready to reload the same mod career file, you want to go ahead and go to backup and restore. But this time, you want to go ahead and go to restore your PlayStation 5. If you're on a PS4, you can actually skip this step. You don't have to worry about backing up and restoring your PlayStation. But if you're on next gen, you do. That's just how it is. So yeah, man. Once you guys have waited 24 hours and you're ready to get the same batch progression, all you guys want to do is drag 
your folder that we, that you put on your PC back over to your USB, and then you want to reload it to your console. So you want to go to restore your P, your PS5, and then you want to go ahead and click on that, and then you guys will see the file, and then you want to go ahead and hit restore. This is where you need a M2 solid state drive or something that you can put all of your games on because whenever you do this glitch and you restore your ps5 if you don't have your games stored on a solid state drive it will erase all of your games and you will have to re-download them that's the only downside to this glitch but like i said if you have a solid state drive then you don't have to worry about doing that because your games will be fine whenever you restore your playstation so keep that in mind for this glitch you're going to need like i said a usb a solid state drive and then also any type of pc that you can drag over your usb files over to and remember you guys can do this every single 24 hours for every mocker game that you do this glitch on so if you do like 10 or even 15 you guys can get the same batch regression every 24 hours on those games you just have to do these steps for each game that you play so it can be kind of time consuming i'm not gonna lie but if you're on playstation you don't even have to worry about if you're on old gen you don't even have to worry about erasing your also all you want to do is just go to your usb drive and then copy over your files every 24 hours so if you are on current gen you don't even have to worry about doing the backup part you can literally just copy over your files back to your playstation every 24 hours and you're able to to get the same badge progression so yeah man this glitch would be super fire if i was on console and I was working on a new player, I would 100% do this. But like I said, it can be a little time consuming depending on which console you're on and depending if you have a solid state drive. Because without that solid state drive, if you try to do this glitch, you're gonna have to re download NBA 2K23 each time that you wanna get the same batch progression. But yeah, man, um, make sure you always take advantage of this while you can because this glitch was around in NBA 2K20 and they actually did patch it. Like I said, it does work a lot easier if you're on current gen because you don't have to worry about wiping your PlayStation every 24 hours that you do this glitch. But like I said, man, this is working on current and next gen. It works every 24 hours. So you're basically able to get the same batch progression for each mod career game that you do this glitch on every 24 hours if you guys have any questions hit up the homie dan dan on his youtube or twitter it's been your boy drop a like man drop a sub turn on notifications we out peace